Chips, candy wrappers, screaming baby sticky seeds With 50 as a popcorn kernels in his teeth There's still not one that he won't see Cause Doug loves movies Hey, hey, hey everybody My name is Doug and I Love Movies what you were doing there. That was confusing. I was like, wait for your cue. Uh, Coming to you once again from UCB Franklin in Los Angeles, California. It's Tuesday, May 23rd. I wrote down 2016, but I know better. (laughs) Oh my God, May 23rd. I still wish it was 2016. What's up with your uh, name tags, Los Angeles? We got some out there? Oh, we do. Lovely. They're all in the center section, interestingly enough. And, uh, all right, what do you got there for Inglorious Bastards? What's going on there? Chang Glorious Bastards. Chang Glorious Bastards, because your name is? Chang. Chang. (laughs) Your last name? Correct. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Is your first name Chang? Moving on. Um... (laughs) <laughs> do you have you seen uh what's that movie called 16 candles uh, a long time ago oh my god dude don't watch it now <laughs> you got it, Doug. long duck dong is really it's sad what's this eraser head thing over here what oh you got a bottle or something i don't know what that has to do with anything but what's your name aaron aaron oh so you change it to Aaron Head. <laughs> and then you also taped a Red Bull to it? Yes. All right. You think, you think my guests might be like Red Bull uh, demons? that are constantly desiring Red Bull? It's a possibility. What's this one right here? 12 years a day. 12 years a day. <laughs> wow. Let's go back to Chang. <laughs> well, thank you to everyone for bringing uh, your name tags, and uh, thank you for finally depicting what could happen if a, a white man had to try to escape slavery <laughs> all in one delightful uh, poster. Doug Plugs, tomorrow night, Wednesday, May 24th, 2017. <laughs> Douglas Movies is at the Improv in Houston, Texas. That might be tonight if you're listening to it today or last night if you listen to it uh, two days from now. What? (laughs) Saturday, May 27th, Douglas Movies is at 420 at the uh, LOL Comedy Club in San Antonio, Texas. I'm not abbreviating. That's what it's called. Uh, And then Douglas Movies is back here in Los Angeles over at Meltdown Comics on Monday, May 29th. And, oh, we're back at the Comedy Zone in Charlotte, North Carolina on Saturday, June 3rd, also at 420. Lots of my shows are at 420. And as you know, all of my dates and deeds and links are at DougLovesMovies.com. That's DougLovesMovies.com. Excellent. Uh, Prize bag, first of all, a box. We got a, uh, from Loot Crate, we got the uh, W Slam Crate. (laughs) Right? Is that what that is? So... I don't even have to look inside to know that the contents are amazing. Uh, we've got a uh, Doug Loves Movies t-shirt. Someone sent this to me, care of uh, UCB Theater, and uh, no real explanation. I guess it sort of makes sense. It's a pouch with a zipper, and it says, you say high maintenance like it's a bad thing. <laughs> So yeah, so I'm, I'm giving that away. <laughs> Don't feel like I need to have that. Oh, here's something cool that I got. Uh, I got this um, a gum that says, I heart my penis on it. <laughs> uh, the bag I also got from the same place and this monster uh, water bottle. I didn't even use it. Uh, I was at the Hangout Fest in... Uh, Gulf Shores, Alabama, and they uh, they gave me this thing, and I was like, that's cool. Prize bag. 
And a bag from Hangout Fest is the prize bag also. And then I had to include, because Christmas is going to come, it's going to be here before we know it. And someone needs to have a Christmas bong. Start getting ready for the holiday season now, I say. And get ready, get your hands together ready, because... <laughs> I'd like you to welcome Eric Griffin, Andrew Santino, and Al Madrigal. Al Madrigal. These fellas, it's a, it's a uh, themed panel tonight because these guys are all the stars of the new Showtime series. I've seen uh, the pilot and I liked it very much. Hashtag Doug digs it. It's called I'm Dying Up Here, and uh, it's going to be on Showtime starting on June 4th. Yep. Starring these guys. Yep. Yeah. Like, actually, they did the thing. I'm not sure what people are probably scrambling in all these networks, but they put it everywhere. So you could watch this on YouTube right now. They just put the whole thing out. Or what? The pilot. They put the pilot out. Oh, the pilot. All right, relax. <laughs> The whole thing's on YouTube well, starting it's now. It's a or Showtime June 4th if you want to <laughs> pay for a service just to see something. They, they slapped it out there. Okay, but the pilot is available. Yes. So, like, people listening to this, not you guys here, please stay in your seats. <laughs> okay. And don't pull out listening devices. But anyone else, <laughs> pause this program, watch the pilot. Then here's on YouTube. About. Then come listen, you guys. Yep. You hosted the panel in uh, South by Southwest, so I feel like you're pretty on top of this. You know more than the average person. Oh yeah, like for instance, Al Madrigal. <laughs> <laughs> I know that uh, you play a character named Edgar Martinez. It's true. And this movie takes place. It's not ex exactly the comedy store, but it's the idea of the comedy store. Uh, in the 70s and follows the comedy scene in the 70s. Executive produced by Jim Carrey, yeah. who uh, knows that scene pretty well, I'm sure, because he was uh, came in right after it. So he came out, uh, I get to write on the show, and he came uh, into the writer's room and told us a bunch of fucking stories about sleeping in closets and uh, you know just getting in fights in the parking lot, and so we just put a bunch of that shit in there. And so when he came out, uh, he slept in a closet and uh, another comic, uh, Tom Dreesen, that we all know, um, he told us he ate Kentucky Fried Chicken every single day for two years. Because uh, they had a thing called the cluckin' for a buck Hungry. or something like that. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't make it now because it's a Zanku chicken. <laughs> yeah. They don't have the same kind of bargains over there. Yeah, that's expensive. Zanku. Right? That shit. <laughs> it's a ripoff. Yeah. That's the expensive chicken. <laughs> Let's say hi to Eric Griffin, everybody. Yeah. He's back on the show. Yeah. Haven't been on since San Francisco. That was a while ago. Yeah, Let's you've been on before, that, though. So, uh, shirt right there. I think uh, we only have one newbie tonight. But you play Ralph King uh, on I'm Dying Up Here, uh, premiering on Showtime starting January 4th. But you can get it all right now on YouTube. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Even season two, for some reason. Yeah. We haven't even filmed it. They did it all with puppets. <laughs> did you base your character on like a specific uh, comedian of, of that time? Or? Um, not really, because I don't think they even knew what who they wanted this character to be. I don't even know a comic that was in Vietnam. Do you know? Do you guys know? Mm. I don't know who it would have been. I think that they just liked me when I did stand up. I think then, didn't you say it, South by Southwest? You kind of hit the had to hit the gas on the, acting more black than uh, than you well, normally do. When you say it like that, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's very Fox thought, Newsy hit, hit, how hit he the, said that. Hit, hit the did gas. You black it up, I thought it sounded, did you black it up? Well, you know, I'm very mixed. I'm mixed. You know what I mean? I'm just you know. So you don't know what I am. You guys don't know if you want to call immigration or homeland security right now. <laughs> He still gets Kill to do him. his joke after accusing me of... Uh... <laughs> you have a piece of paper in your hand. I should... <laughs> You know how those, you know how those, those rappers they battle rap, you know, but they have their phone and they're like reading their raps. Like it's not, you're not freestyling, bro. I think there's a protest section of the program. <laughs> is there a suggestion where, 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 box? Audience, audience is there a suggestion to... box? More chicken on this show is what we need. But, but, 
Wasn't your character, <laughs> wasn't it going to be a white guy? And then they found No, you? I think it was always going to be a, a, a black dude. It's always going to be a black dude. So they saw me and they weren't sure. So that's why I'm wearing this afro. <laughs> I remember when I first came to the, the, the hair place and I was like, okay, what, what am I doing? And they, they brought this like afro over and I was like, okay, I'm a Jackson 5 all of a sudden. <laughs> I think I'm based off Tito. Exactly. <laughs> you think so, Andrew? Yeah, you're very Tito-esque. <laughs> It's a real good look, and uh, <laughs> Andrew Santino is yeah. here, everybody. Hey. From Mixology. Oh, yeah. <laughs> First time on this show, you joined me on uh, Getting Doug with High to get uh, it's way high. too high. I got so fucking high on that show. Yeah, was it too much? It's too high. I got okay. too high, but I showed up a little high thinking... And Jacob, you could ease Jacob, into it that way? Yeah, but I was wrong. No. I, I was totally wrong. I was incorrect. It was a bad move. Bad chess move. I could can't go back because I got... High enough where I was like, oh, I'll be fine. I'll be there. I'll get a little high over them. And just, that was a bad idea. So then I got so high that I, I remember saying my first story to you about how the first time I got caught smoking pot. And in the middle of it, I had that moment of like, too high, I can't finish it. I can't finish it. <laughs> I bailed right out of it. Well, that's Is the great that thing, thing about... Because uh... yeah, well, sometimes you're in your head when you're so high and, you're, and your mouth is leading and you're like, come on, come on, come on. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. And it's, no. get, it's getting out, and then halfway out, you're just like, no, nah, bail, get out, it's bad, it's not going to end well, don't worry about it. I think, I think drugs are great, and you, any drug. Stop that, stop that. <laughs> there we go. Hold on. He's got a family, everyone, well, this guy's uh, got a family. I, but <laughs> when you are able to lead this carefree fucking life of Doug Benson, yeah. with lots of care goes into very, that. Very little responsibility, you can smoke all the weed you want, and what happens to me is I get... I take huge breaks of smoking pot or eating it, whatever, and then I'll see him at like a festival. Oh no! And fucking, <laughs> it's just like, come on, come on, let's go. Oh, We're dude, going dude, right dude. now. Were and I'll nice? even try to smoke it's the littlest bit of weed like and be oh. so fucking baked, you have no idea. And then I can't talk. I can't speak at all. I can't have a conversation. He can do this podcast. He can go. You can do so many things. I'm just so amazed. You can do so one. many yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just, I, I got high and hosted a panel for a new program on Showtime. Yeah. <laughs> on YouTube. June 4th. It's called I'm Dying Up Here. Wait, after we did that, seriously, you know, you know Sam Richardson? Do you know who Sam is? Do you guys mm -hmm. know Sam? Sure. Sam is a great yeah. actor on Veep. Sam, this is. If any of you ever heard this Dave Chappelle story about Dave getting too high on Danny Brown's weed, does anybody know that? And they booed him. Does no one know that story? Look it up. Right. Some people are saying yes. Then yes, louder. For help me out. Could they just look up the other story you're trying to tell? No, because what, no. <laughs> all right, Doug. That's it. Go straight to that's that it. story. <laughs> I think it's written, it's written on your paper there. Yeah. Like. <laughs> we were in we were in South by after with Doug and, and we saw I saw Sam in the street when we were walking somewhere else and Sam was out of his mind and I, he looked really uncomfortable and I was like, Are you okay? And he's like, I just got high with Danny Brown and I've I have to go to my hotel because I have to lay down for a while. I was like, Don't fucking hang out with Danny Brown. Apparently that's like the whole thing. With with you it turns into something fun. That just sounds like uh, you know, Danny Brown just sounds like a code name for bad weed, you know. Yeah. Don't hang out with Danny Brown. Or too good weed. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go down with Danny Brown. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess in his case it was too good. Too good maybe weed, yeah. he doesn't smoke enough because, you know. Yeah. I mean, Austin, Texas, they got, they got great weed there, but it's, it's all from California or Mexico. It's ours. Yeah. yeah, it's our weed. We gave it to them. Yeah. We're the best, right, guys? Yeah. It's like <laughs> white people I don't think everybody people. thinks so. No, I mean, yeah. She yeah. didn't clap. She didn't clap. She didn't like it. <laughs> there are so many people in L.A. that don't bother to vote. Even even yeah. in a simple applaud, if you I like know. this vote, yep. some people are like I can't be bothered. Yeah. Really Raise your hand stand if you hate line. California. Raise yeah. your hand if you hate it here. No, oh, they don't hate let's it. see. Okay. See well, nobody. They hate it. Nope. Raise your hand if you hate L.A. Oh, oh this guy. This guy. Oh, he, oh, he did it. He, he went like this. He halfway. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, you're currently at one of the perks of living in L.A. No shit. Regular uh, episodes of this show and other, lots of great. Cheap comedy in Los Angeles. Yeah. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Yeah. Cheap, cheap um, comedy. Let's see what you guys uh, dug up for the prize bag tonight. Do you have? Uh, well, you know, I'm going to be honest. We scattered around my prizes uh, <laughs> because uh, Al brought everything. <laughs> Al brought everything. Let's talk about Eric's prize real quick. This is yeah, I, I, uh, I brought this from Al's Wait. car. Uh, Hold on. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a great T-shirt. I found it, Al's Now, this has never been worn. This is a, a T-shirt that uh, Eric got for me, but <laughs> I uh, did a Daily Show piece about a guy who wanted to be able to ride manatees, and <laughs> this is the uh, Manatee River Center. But you see the manatee right there. And this is the T-shirt that they gave me on a trip. That's so I've been, beautiful. Uh, that Aren't is, you glad uh, I brought that? Thank you for bringing that in, Eric. T-shirt. You're welcome, Doug. <laughs> Mine is, uh, once again, from Al. Because uh, I spaced. This is pretty limited edition, pretty LE, pretty hot shit here. This is a lanyard from the Justin Bieber uh, roast on Comedy Central VIP after party. Wait, no, oh, no they, wait, wait, wait. Let me tell you what's great about this. When the time machines are invented. <laughs> right? You could go to the roast you can of go Justin to the Bieber. Party! <laughs> I believe I have a pass. It was cause, you know what? It says Saturday 314, but it doesn't tell you what year. So you guys are fucking. There it is. You're in good shape. Use uh, it. I also. Okay, so I have, I have a pretty extensive. Um, and I have a sticker. So. Hold on. I'll tell you about the sticker. <laughs> A pretty extensive comedy album collection, and this is a guy that's always just it, the albums perplex me. I've I've I listened to it a couple times. This guy put out his name is Hal Masters, and uh, the album's called The Funny Side of the Street, and it's horrible. He is really bad at stand-up comedy. <laughs> On the funny just, side like, of the street. It's just, but this is sort of what comedy... doesn't even look like a professional microphone in his hand. No. He's got a cocktail and a cigarello going. But to me, like, there, was, there must have been this comedy bubble like there is now where you could just, like, and you, anyone could put anything out. And this is, like, albums were being pressed. And this guy just made himself a fucking album. So here you go. It's manufactured by Bolo Records, which is on at 1023 North La Brea. No, oh, my buddy and, lives uh, there now. Yeah. And so <laughs> here you go. And then the other thing I brought is um, these used to be all over L.A. I don't know if people oh, remember Old Chola. It was a graffiti artist. Yeah. So he used to put Old Chola everywhere. Well, I was fascinated by it. And I was like, I wonder if they're selling anything or I could find oh, just an image and I found his Etsy page and he sent me a couple posters but then threw in a uh, like five stickers so this is one of those stickers really there cool. you go there's That's an old Chola cool. sticker wow. well done gentlemen any did, young Cholas good? here any yeah. young Cholas here no old Chola it's like the longest story I've ever heard about a sticker <laughs> Guess what just went away? <laughs> oh, it's no longer in the prize bag. You're punishing the wrong person. Uh, All right. The eventual winner of that bag is going to want that. And this, I mean, everybody's got a car they need to wash. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. Thank you for bringing all this stuff. Yeah, thank uh, you, Will. I have a difficult question for you guys. That um, <laughs> um, It's not... It's not I mean, it's, math, right? You're just not going to maybe have an answer immediately. So raise your hand when, when one of you thinks that you have an answer to this question. And it is, what is the best movie that I, Doug Benson, have not seen? So we got to be careful here because I've seen a lot of movies. I've seen a lot of movies. Yeah. So you want to try to pick one that I have, for one reason or another, have not seen. And it's a great movie and I need to see it. Eric Griffin. First Girl I Loved. That's the name of a movie? Yes. <laughs> I'm actually in that movie. <laughs> and it is a great movie. It's a lesbian love story. Go check it out. You pretentious fucks would like that. Yeah, I'm getting into it. You're in it, lesbians. Plug your own indie movie. Yeah, I just did that. <laughs> But you, it, wait, wait. It, it falls under all the parameters. He hasn't seen it, and it's a great movie. First Girl I Loved. Check it out. Are you, you one of the lesbians? Now I gotta watch yeah, it. Yeah, I'm one of the lesbians. Wow. Okay, it's a low I'm, budget. I'm back out. You're wearing an afro as well? Yeah, yeah. Have an okay, afro I'm back too. in. All right, this is an emotional roller coaster. Al's got one. You probably, I, I, you most likely have seen this. Oh, then I, I why, like why, why? What I'm are trying you doing to get here? I'm taking a solid guess. Okay. The founder. I have not seen The Founder yet. Oh, it's great. People Love keep it. bringing it up on this show and that they like it, but that The Founder, that, that character, he's kind of a dick. 
Yeah. That's a good movie. Okay. You don't know how Al Madrigal that was right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a dick. Oh, man. <laughs> well, you guys are walking around on set with all your 70s shit on yeah. and uh, getting into character and stuff. Is it, do you trip each other out a little bit because well, you don't seem like yourselves? The best yeah. moment was when we were on location. We were shooting it. They found these little bungalows. When you watch this show, it's amazing how they found parts of L.A., that really do look like his apartment is just fucking incredible. My North Hollywood apartment is one of the, I don't know where they found these fucking places uh, in North Hollywood. And they, um, <laughs> we went to, a, we were having lunch in a Masonic temple. Oh yeah. And um, we are desperate to the, the caterer on the show. I don't want to sound like a spoiled baby, but you eat a lot of like set food. This guy was horrible. We thought he was like uh, squandering, like he had a gambling problem. So he was like spending well, we, half we of the to... money. Like, Maybe he misunderstood the premise of the show, thought all the characters had to look like they were dying. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was definitely trying to kill us uh, because the food was just terrible. So we're, we, House of Pies is right across the street. So we're in full 70s shit. Oh, yeah. And he calls up House of Pies and, he, and we don't have our wallets because we left them in the trailer. Oh, he, yeah. he goes, he goes This is great He goes To the lady at House of Pies uh, goes Do you take Apple Pay? And she goes Yeah We take Apple We got Apple Pay She said We got Apple Pay yeah. I go Apple. You take Apple Pay? She goes We got Apple Pay Yeah So we all go walking over yeah, We walk so excited. We're gonna get breakfast We're gonna get cups of coffee Fuck We're gonna yeah. get pile and mode And, and wait, then, wait Also And we walked out of that Catering area like The fuck Bitch ass yeah. food. Fuck you. Ass fuck, food. fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck your throw in a house of grass. Grass. I already had a plate of food too, and Al comes over. Throw that away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. So, so we walk across the street and we go inside, and Al is like, Al, good instinct goes, dude. I know you called. You should check again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. House of Pies. Do you guys know House of Pies? Because it was an old-ass register. House yeah. of Pies has been around since the dawn of time. Yeah. He was like, I don't think they have fucking <laughs> Apple Pay, dude. It was I one of these registers. <laughs> <laughs> I walk in there, and they, I'm like, they, they, they got, got it. They, they got, got it. Apple Pie. So I go up to the front, and I go, Apple you guys got Apple Pie? pie. She goes, Apple Pie. Apple yeah, we have Apple Pie. Apple Pie. We got we Apple Pie. Pecan apple Pie. pie. Pecan we pie. Got banana Pie. Chocolate Cream Pie. We got all kinds of And Alice's like, God damn it! We we. We laugh so, so hard. Fun. So did you make the transaction with uh, coconut cream paint? <laughs> <laughs> We're in so full fucking fun. 70s gear. Pecan paint. And I'm just walking through. We saw Pete Holmes in yeah, the Yeah, we saw Pete lot. Holmes walking through the parking lot. He was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> like, that's, how he got the, Apple pay. that's how he got the idea for his show. He went, hmm, comics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. That is how it happened. We also got Legionnaire's disease from the Masonic <laughs> Temple that we were in. It was it, we had some. You know when you said it, you're surprised that they found places. Not me. We the there are some spots that you go around L.A. and you're like they haven't touched anything since 1970 something. <laughs> the apartment that I was in, the guy, someone was like, nobody lives here. No, nobody lives here anymore. And nothing had been touched. And I was like, I think somebody lives here. And some woman on set had said something like, she was like, I hope not. And some dude goes, I live here. And I was like, mm, I'm going to get out of here before a fight starts. <laughs> so, man, I live here. That movie, The Nice Guys, it just came out a, a couple last summer or whatever. Uh, was <laughs> A couple of summers ago? <laughs> no, I think it was last summer. But it was... Uh, when you're uh, Ryan Gosling. It was L.A. in 70s set. And... Um, it was, uh, you know, it's kind of amazing how they just go around and shoot a lot of places here and they they haven't changed. Yeah, it's the same shit. It just shit. looks the same. Yeah. Um, all I, right. I got one. Okay, good. But this is not, you probably, have you seen The Lobster? Yes. Damn it. Yeah. That's I not a bad one to throw out there if somebody Andrews. hasn't seen it, especially if you like ruining lives. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love that fucking movie. You like it? I like it, but I, right. I I had to see it a second time just to get over it a little bit, you know. <laughs> God, the first I love time that I was movie. like, God damn it, fuck this movie. What do you think? Do you think he? Do you think he did it and came back to the table? What? At the very end. <laughs> do you think he cut out his eyes? You know, he ruined his of sight. Of course, for he him? cut it out. Of his I eyes. don't think so, dude. I think he trailed off. No. Into way. the sunset with his eyeballs. <laughs> I'd like I'm, that. That's a better ending, if you ask me. I think he had the pick near his eye and was like. Oh, fuck this, there's so many other women. And then he just walked away. 
I don't know. He's a pretty pathetic dude. That's which is why he would bail. That's my point. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it takes courage to. Yeah, to poke your eyes poke out. He was a fucking out. wuss. He, he had, oh. You know, just to double check your theory, I'll watch it again and then have more nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> Also going in the prize bag, a uh, koozie that says, I'm dying up here, June oh, 4th yay. on Showtime. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Does not actually keep beer cold, but... No, I stole some of those, too, from the party. Did yeah, you? this yeah. was from the world premiere screening. Thievery. Wednesday, 11.30 a.m. <laughs> Paramount Theater, the beautiful Paramount Theater. It Sis- was. This Sis- guy goes, what? <laughs> it was a little weird of a time. Since yeah. we're at UCB, I'm putting in the box, Space Work. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. Look at him go. Look oh, at him go. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Four oh, years boy. at the Mime Academy. Andrew? <laughs> Comics love nothing Ladies and gentlemen, more. Eric Griffin's Mime School is available Shit, online. Yeah. Improv. He filled the bin and then he pushed it down. This is like being a TSA. So, uh... <laughs> Do you like that new bin system? Have you done the new bin system? No, I hate it. I fucking hate it, Because I have two fucking bags, so you put your one bag, and then it's it's gone. Yeah. They separate your bags. Yeah, you're separating the fucking bags. Then then there's a long It's Sophie's choice of bags. I'm so efficient that it allows me to cut in front of everybody and just... Everyone's so confused, you can just fucking... It is. You can take advantage of confusion there. I'm a renegade. I don't pack shit. What's happening with this? I just buy when I arrive. No, then there's there's a long... Jam, you know, on the, when to get the bags. Yeah, you're but like, you're the kind of guy that <laughs> that does too many carry-ons. You're yeah. too many carry-on. I, guy. I take my Xbox. And he I brings his eye. fucking Xbox. <laughs> he does. Everywhere he goes. He brought his shit to the tra- to on set. Yeah, he was he, in, he in there that. playing games. He yeah. was angry when someone disturbed him to go work because <laughs> he was in the middle of a game. <laughs> Uh, Eric, we need you to stop playing people. video games. Put on your hair and come to the set. <laughs> Please put on your afro. Like, oh. There's never been a more parental phrase. E- Eric, put down your games. Put on your hair. <laughs> All right, one more question for you guys. You mm-hmm. handled that one nicely. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think I have to see any of those. Founder. First Girl I Love, though. You should watch that one. Okay, yeah. You're right. I take it back. I'm going to see First, first Girl I yeah, Have you ever seen love. Last Action Hero? Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. In what world <laughs> would Doug not see Last Action Hero? It seems like a hard, hard one. He didn't miss. see the founder. I feel like that was a that was just no, just just that's happened. not as good as Last Action. Well, not, no, as not good, good bad but it just as. happened. Yeah, the founder just slipped by me. It was a, it was a, it was a weird one. I still and I, now I really want to see it because it keeps coming up. What about the new Fast and Furious? I haven't seen that. No. Saw it. <laughs> Sounds like he loved it. No, I. I think I skipped a couple movies when they oh, became no, secret they, agents. How can you? How can you follow it then? Yeah, I, they became secret agents. They went from Mazdas to secret agency. Yeah, they have Ferraris now. Yeah, I don't know what. How did that happen? Go did back to something? Hondas. Yeah, I like the old oh, Civic no. days. I like when they're ripping up CRVs and shit. And man, homeboy got a little chunky. I could be Vin Diesel now. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're Vin, dude. I could be Vin. Vin Double D. First of all, they're not walking. They're driving everywhere. We, we actually did. Yeah, that's did. true. So why wouldn't they get fat, right? They're always in cars. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Al has a story. <laughs> Just start your story, Al. We'll get well, to were it. You tell, were you telling me a secret? No, we, we'll still be here. I was telling it. There was a fucking side conversation going on on the podcast. If you're listening... Uh, <laughs> No, we did Fast Five together. We did uh, when we at the silent movie theater. It was me, you, oh, Zach, yeah, yeah. And, like, and Sarah. Do you remember that? that was I'm sure one. that was a fun one. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Yeah, it's always a good time. Uh, all the Fast Five or Fast Furious <laughs> mo- fate <laughs> family. Uh, all of those movies. You could never leave your family. Are great to uh, talk during. And I think that's part of why they're such international hits because you you know you don't have to speak English to uh, recognize uh, that the words don't matter. <laughs> you forgot. Fuck one it. Thing. Vin Diesel might as well be saying "I am Groot" over and over again in that movie. Hey, hey, that's some of his best work, right? They should loop Minion speak over that and see how successful that is. No, that is the worst. Don't you want to kill yourself after two minutes of the minions? I are you fuck, crazy? I, I fuck with the minions. You I have like kids, them. So. Dude, those are the best. That'd be a great ever. suicide note. Talk fucking the, minions. The words. <laughs> when they're talking. 
Why did he do it? Banana! And, <laughs> You, you See gained what so joy it brings yeah. when you I do know. it? You're right. I take it all back. Uh, all right. Um. <laughs> and you know what? And Asian people need something. You know what I'm saying? I got to get out of here. Thank you guys so much. That's my time. <laughs> <laughs> nothing on that one? Nothing? Asian guy? Nothing? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, he shook his head. <laughs> no. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not ambiguously raced man. <laughs> Weird that my racism isn't ambiguous. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You went right for him. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was right there. You know? I get it. Corner of my eye. Just, I felt Asian. You know what I mean? I like, <laughs> now he's mad. I'm not Asian. You're Asian for this fucking podcast, right? How deep is this hole that you're digging? I know. Right <laughs> that's what, like, like, if you look carefully when the late, great Don Rickles was on stage, he'd be like, and that Asian guy is going, Mwah! Like, and there was no Asian person there. Yeah. Like, he'd just point to a vague area. And <laughs> I'd just say that that person is over there. Everyone's like, okay, yeah, we'll take it on faith in that. So he's not even really insulting anybody. He's just like, ah, that guy over there. Unless there's happened to be a huge Asian right there that gets mad. He always brought a an Asian Huge with Asian. Him. What are you laughing at? It's possible. <laughs> Have you seen that movie, Huge Asian? I wanted to, but when I tried to buy a ticket... <laughs> That was I Jackie Chan's third film. They couldn't understand film. what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> like one for huge agent. Huge agent. Huge agent. <laughs> huge agent, please. Are you uh, saying huge agent? Huge sure. agent. Huge agent. Huge agent. You want to speak to the manager, Mike? Huge agent. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'd like to speak to the manager to get a ticket to huge Al's going to get in a lot of trouble when he gets his... Hugh his, Jackman. <laughs> Hugh Jackman? I was walking into a multiplex in Portland and the sign said, Logan, get out. <laughs> you don't like Logan? <laughs> the movie, the theater discriminates against people named Logan, which probably should go down in Oregon. Makes sense, probably. Probably a lot of annoying Logans running around. Did you like Get Out? I love Get Out. It was so good. Do you, yes. He's got another one on the slate, right, for 2019. A, another comedy horror, they said, right? Jordan Pillay's got another one coming out? That's what they said. <laughs> like, nice. Good for him. It wasn't a comedy. It's actually Peely. No, they said a, it said it's a, horror, a, a, a comedic horror. Which oh, is the what next they, one's going to be good. Okay. Yeah, a comedic horror. Yeah. Get Out was kind of funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, Lil yeah. Rel. Lil Rel was funny. Lil Rel was fucking great. Oh, I didn't believe no. the... I wasn't a oh, big yeah, fan of the premise. What do you mean you weren't big fan of the premise? Yeah, I just think... The whole, the, so you didn't like the movie? I don't think rich white people would make themselves black. <laughs> just, <laughs> just for kicks. I just, <laughs> for so, kicks, so you know they, what I mean? So when they're driving away from that town and they get pulled over, I mean... They don't leave. They, they're going to be like, oh, we made a huge mistake. <laughs> <laughs> don't they get to go back? Can they not go back? No, they can't go back. They fucking, you know, you cut their in heads the sunken off place. shit. They're, yeah, I don't know if we're talking about the same movie. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you guys know what the last movies you, uh, you know, last motion picture experience you had was? I went to go see Guardians of the Galaxy two with my family. And the, the uh, kids and everything. Yep. Everybody like it. Everybody liked it. Didn't think it was as good as the first one. Yeah, Thought the little jokes were corny. Uh, the it's not ripe yet bit yeah. uh, was uh, way too long. You didn't think it was ripe. It. It's not ripe. <laughs> Okay. Um, but we liked it. Last movie I saw was Aliens, the new Aliens. Alien Covenant? Alien Covenant. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Was that good? No, that it was good. Out I, for you. I enjoyed it. You know. Oh, you want a little fun fact? Is that with that Aliens Covenant, is that Catherine Watterson is also in Fantastic Beasts. Uh, we did a pilot together in 2004 where she was my love interest. But I can't talk about my first girl I loved. <laughs> <laughs> this pilot Yeah, at least this up. is some shit we could actually see. <laughs> this pilot's not even on the air. <laughs> It's called Americana. You can find it on YouTube. Was <laughs> that a fun work. fact or a name drop? What was that? It's just interesting, I think. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a little side note that that's people like, may but want to like enjoy. Going, uh, if you're a movie I buff. was fired from a Starbucks in 2000. And <laughs> 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 I went to one day of work. And but then, people didn't like the aliens because it had too much story, right? Is that, no, uh, I thought it was okay. You just have to remember back to like that this is the uh, a prequel to the original, you know. Oh, yeah, they had a sequel, prequel. It was a sequel, prequel, right? Is that how you say it? A prequel. I guess so. Yeah. Because it was a prequel 
Where does it right, fit? It? So, but it's after Prometheus and right, before right, the right. first alien. Yes. Okay. But they left you a big, there's a big, like, where was this guy in the other movie situation, though? Danny McBride? No. <laughs> <laughs> the, the robot. Oh, who saw it? Nobody saw it? Yeah, don't give anything away. Spoiler yeah, alert! Yes. But it also doesn't sound like the room's tensing up, like they're worried about spoilers. No, no. I know, bro, you ruined Alien for me, bro. It's not like Yeah, we had to be really careful about Get Out for like weeks because uh, people get mad yeah. if you say too much about it. You see Snatched? Uh-uh. <laughs> Did anyone see Snatch? Wow. wow. You, I guess. Hey, guys, guess who was in Snatched? <laughs> <laughs> is, this a, is that a real game? Yes. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I know. Who? Uh, <laughs> Ike Barinholtz is in it? Yeah, he's in it. Huh, okay, you're, you're missing a big person, but go ahead. Who else? Uh, yeah, Amy Schumer. Amy no, Schumer's that's not in. who you're missing. Keep going. Goldie like, Hawn. Wanda Sykes. Wanda, is yeah, Wanda Sykes. No, no, you're missing. Wow. Is somebody oh, shit. Is Eric Griffin in this movie? No, Al Madrigal, motherfucker. He oh. brought it up. Why do you think I brought it up? I don't know why you brought it up. <laughs> if you Wait, if you know Al, he would never. <laughs> no, it's. Uh, I still haven't seen it, though. That's the thing. Yeah. You haven't seen it? Haven't no, he seen left it. the premiere. He walked right out the back door. Oh. No, I was away. Oh, okay. Missed it. But yeah, I just haven't seen it yet. It's directed. The guy who directed it is very talented. He I like directed his movie our pilot. 50, that's 50. what I was really getting. Did he? At. Yeah, he directed the pilot that's on I'm YouTube. Mad I was supposed to be. I didn't get the, a role. I was supposed to be like the the person that they call. I'm so mad about that. Bastard. I uh, <laughs> wasn't up for that. <laughs> didn't have anything. Well, you're like a. Spectrum. Although I tested to be Schumer's boyfriend in. Uh, uh, what's the train first wreck. one? Train wreck. And then they got this guy, Bill Hyder, or something, to fucking do it. I was like, I don't know. Take a swing at him, I guess. New guy. New guy to the biz. I said, listen, Judd, you're really fucking throwing a long one here, but good luck. Let's see if he can catch it. In the pilot for uh, I'm Dying Up Here, you got some uh, heavy uh, acting uh, going on there, Andrew Santino. Oh, thanks. Yeah. yeah. It gets, yeah I think we all kind of have a... Uh, emotional pretty deep emotional arc eric has fucking gets that way and al gets probably the most oh yeah al's full on he gets, Niagara Falls. yeah He's it gets pretty fucking it. sad <laughs> there's some real sad beautiful moments but the i think the weird thing to is live in north hollywood <laughs> yeah. they promoted it for a long time horrible. as a comedy <laughs> I think After that, they watched it, they were like, oh. Well, that was the mistake, is that Jim was always like, it's not a comedy, it's like a drama but about the world of comedy. And then Showtime would still have a few people that would come around that were like, but it's like a comedy, right? <laughs> but it's a head guy. People so many uh, yeah. good characters, though, played by mostly funny people. And then we should mention uh, Melissa Leo. Melissa like Leo, the, yeah. She's, the, she's the, the head honcho. main character of the show is the lady that runs the comedy club. And, yeah. and as she said at South By, like she didn't even base it on Mitzi Shore because no. she didn't know who ah. Mitzi Shore was until after they cast her in the role. Yeah. She yeah. she wants to stay away from that world. She wanted to create her own character. Even she sure though did. She did it. Yeah, she and did. She's a fucking intimidating lady. Let me tell you how fucking one day... You, you, have no, <laughs> you, know, you, you have know what no I want. Idea. The best part was <laughs> us getting more and more... Like, first, you know, Melissa Leo, she's an Oscar winner. And we're just fucking idiot comics. Yep. So we're, start, we're in scenes with her almost right out of the gate. And it's super intimidating. But then over the course of ten episodes... We got more and more comfortable with her until we did Eric. Uh, what did you say about her at that fucking party right to her face? Um, that was hilarious. Well, it's just that if the script says her name's Goldie in the show, right? So let's say in the script it says Goldie is on coke and agitated. You better watch the then fuck get, watch the Guess, fuck guess who's going to be agitated on set? And it's like, well, it's a Leo. She, but man, I don't care how upset she might have gotten when it's time for her to perform. Even just sitting across from her, standing across from her, when she was done, you want to go, God damn. Yeah, her process was. God! <laughs> she, was, she was so. It was crazy. She was so adamant about controlling the set that we one day we were on. It's the first day. This is this like. Is a, yeah, yeah. We, this is our, our set, our, our stage that was, that was just like our comedy club was probably, you know, two or three times the size of this room. And yeah, she four was, times the size. She was on the opposite side, and we three idiots are on the opposite side. 
and we're not even, we're in between takes. There's not even rehearsal or anything, and we're just chatting, having a good time, trying to figure out where we're gonna get. Yeah, to what die. we're gonna say because we're we have like a little improv bit, like a fu- like a fucking apparition. She yeah, just, just like poof. appeared, <laughs> and she was like, "You don't talk. You don't talk." And all of us were like, mm, fuck, all yeah. right, well. We had that look at each other like, she just yelled at three grown-ass men. We're grown <laughs> But not in that moment. You're like, I'm, I'm fucking, a child. I'm, I'm still a child. Ass. And I got slapped. She was no. intense, but that, it was, it was worth then, it. But gra- then, again, gradually over the course of the season, she became part of this group. Because yeah. there's nine people. Clark Duke, from your buddy Clark, from Hot Tub Time Machine. Mm-hmm. Michael Our Angarano. Some kick-ass. And- yeah. Michael Ari Grainer, mm-hmm. Jake Lacey. Michael Angarano was in what? The last, what was it? Last uh, Emperor. No, last, uh, no, no. Oh, Forbidden uh, Kingdom. Forbidden Kingdom he was and Sky High. Famous. And he was in Sky, Sky High. High. It was oh, a great oh, movie. You guys God. remember Sky High? It was fantastic. You know what he gets Kurt recognized Russell? for all the time? Dogtown and Z-Boys. Yeah, dog Someone said that. Yeah, people love He's that. He's been in a ton of things since he was I, little. It was a girl. Stanford yes. Prison Experiment. Yep. He Since was in Will and Grace. Uh, he played uh, Will's son. Yeah, right? his, ki- his kid. Oh, I yeah. thought he was Jack's penis, but Jack's son, Jack's penis. Because he's, he's little. Said this guy. Yeah, tiny. <laughs> he is a little tiny, cute guy. He said one day he showed up. <laughs> one day he showed up with a new rental car because Al got him like a hookup to get a nice big cat. Bless you, a big Cadillac. <laughs> And he got a big Cadillac, and Michael's like a small guy. And the whole day we kept teasing that he, he came in like a child driving a truck. Like, his arms were like... <laughs> it was so big. And the door, him stepping out of it, was like a fucking uh, event to get out of the car. <laughs> Do we miss anybody? Jake Lacey. Who else? Oh, uh, R- RJ. RJ Siler, the, the Power Ranger. Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. Did anybody see that? Me, Earl, and the Dying Nobody. Girl. Nobody. Wow. Oh, oh yeah, he's okay. great in that. And, he's, uh, uh, he's the Black uh, Power Ranger. He's the Black Power Ranger. And John Daly's yeah. great on the no, show. Oh yeah, John. John's, John's fucking guy. awesome. Kidding. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys did great in a round of name actors that you're on a show with. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, killed it. Uh, really killed it. I don't killed know. It. I don't know. Killed it. I don't know who to call the winner necessarily, <laughs> but uh, you guys did a great job on that. And so this is part of the show where I say, "Let the games begin." People brought name tags. You guys just have to go grab one that you want to play for, uh, whatever person's name tag inspires you the most. Okay. And just bring it back to your seat, and then uh, we will uh, will commence with the game. I brought some uh, buzzers. People love it when I bring the uh, crazy buzzers. Uh, (laughs) You can just feel the anticipation. Yeah, you like 12 Years a Dave, do you? Get yourself a job working at At Midnight tonight, man. I can hear... Hardwick's going to give you points. Who'd you pick? 12 Years a Dave and Kramer versus Kramer. <laughs> That's there, fucking awesome. There should be a black kid in this, though. <laughs> Doug is black. No, I was Kramer. running my own little affirmative action program, and uh, I picked Chang Glorious Bastards. All right. There you go. He really looks good there in the, uh, the Brad, Brad Pitt role. <laughs> yeah, good job, dude. I don't think I should be playing the part in 12 Years a Slave, though. Yeah. That's a little bit weird. Like, uh, uh, You're white, great on this one. Yeah, yeah, well, of course. Is this white face? What would this be called, I guess, huh? Oh, yeah, I guess so. You went dumb. Whatever it is, I don't like it. You don't, yeah. <laughs> we should probably you destroy that. I think you did a great job. <laughs> But yeah, so you're playing for uh, Dave, and we got Chang, and we got uh, so there's a person whose name just happens to be Kramer. So you have your last name's Kramer. Kramer, So you don't have to change anything in the title. Kramer versus Kramer. Good job. (laughs) Is anybody here a graphics uh, graphic artist? You are. What did you bring? He didn't uh, bother. He didn't bother to bring one, and that's what you do for a living. Uh, He's like. uh, It's like, that's, that's what I do for a living. Yeah, Why these would pe- I, these peasants just like how you guys it. haven't brought any jokes tonight. Like everybody, <laughs> everybody sucks Ouch. off when they can. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I didn't have to take all three of you on that one. I could have ah. just gone after Andrew for Thanks. F- trying to f- give a guy a hard time for not making a sign. Well, he knows what he did. By the way, I didn't. His girl, his girlfriend or friend pointed him out, so it wasn't. He didn't say I. She was like him. It's him. So that's yeah, your well, fight. Well, you have. know, it's important for us to have whistleblowers at this point, and I'm glad that she. Well, sor- snitches, snitches get stitches. Yeah. Snitches get stitches. Whoa! I no, that's what happens in my house. 
That's what happens in my house, yeah. Doug. In, inside right. movie sources, say. <laughs> Would each of you like a buzzer? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to need these. Oh, Thank we are. you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Geez. Yeah, you can you go ahead and practice if you want. Al, do you want to hit yours? Okay. <laughs> I think we're good. <laughs> it's hard to stop, isn't it? But if you guys get... I got one, too. What's yours sound like? Oh, oh. shit, somebody's here. <laughs> like every time. You that was are... how we used to get the dog. The dog would hide under the bed, and but if we rang the doorbell, the dog would get so excited somebody was there, like no matter who it was, they'd get excited to come out from under the bed. And we'd stand around laughing because the dog <laughs> fell for it every fucking time. <laughs> what an <laughs> idiot poor, dog. Poor dog. <laughs> Let's get down to the bottom of how you want to really bring this thing to a screeching halt and talk about how you abused your fucking dog. <laughs> Well, I saw the movie Dog's Purpose, so I felt a lot better knowing that when my dog died, that it, it went on to help somebody else. I don't know what its purpose was in my life, but uh, uh, that doorbell it, trick it that right. you pulled on it. Yeah, it was, it was good for it was good for some laughs. All right, so we're gonna play a game uh, tonight called uh, Alex's Jason and Deb's IMDb game, and uh, it's based on the IMDb page of uh, actors and actresses. You know how they'll list. Uh, best known for, and they'll have like four of their projects, mostly mm. movie, but occasional TV one will slip in there. And uh, the TV one, is, the Black Station. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm gonna but they don't list those. Those just come up, right? Those, uh, or they take responsibility for that. That's well, there's an algorithm that decides it. Plus, also actors can go in and fix their own uh, if they want to choose their own. Which is kind of weird to say, decide what I your best not, known, no, no, they I can't. I've tried. It's impossible. They do it. Huh? You can ask, and they're like, Maybe. no, no. But they say it's a, it's a thing they're going to change. Like, uh, oh, they are. Like, if you pay for the IMDb uh, Pro, you could probably go in and change it. Tried it. You I did? did it. Yeah, I have IMDb Pro. I don't think you can change. I can't. That. You can't. I tried right. to put myself in the Godfather. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I want to be here all night, fellas. <laughs> all right. So one, one of you brought jokes. All right, yeah. one of you. <laughs> so I'll start naming the top four. From so it's you know it's based on box office awards, what mm. what they're known for, okay. basically. But you know it's not accurate by any means. So I'll start naming their top four. Buzz in when you want to guess who you think it is, but. If you're wrong, it's negative one points. You might not want to buzz in on the first title because, of course, most movies have many people in them. Sure. Meryl Streep. No, you know what? I don't, I don't mind a good pre-guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want to lose a point over it. No. All right. And, um, oh, you get bonus point for each additional one that you can name if, uh, if you buzz in on, uh, you know, before the fourth one. Oh. Uh, I'm going to be so bad at this. I'm sorry. 12 Years of Dave. I think we're all sorry for 12 years of Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, put some effort. You know what I mean? Come on. <laughs> I can't believe you picked that. Hey, don't read what's on the back there, yeah. Andrew. That's the consolation prize if you yeah. lose tonight. Uh, I have to read that out loud. Oh, oh, yeah. Was it good? It's actually quite good. Okay. <laughs> See, this uh, Chen Glorious Bastards is smart. He made it so that Al would have to go to a lot of effort to read... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he taped it on the back there. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's a good way to keep good you work. from doing it. How's yours there? Uh, I, I didn't have a pen. Sorry. You oh. didn't have a pen? You had a big Kramer versus Kramer poster with my face on <laughs> Justin What's His Fuck, and you didn't have a pen? <laughs> Justin Henry, Academy Award nominated for that uh, film. You know what, Doug? We're not all millionaires. We just can't have pens. I'm sorry, ma'am, that he did that to you. I uh, can uh, afford pens because I stay in hotels. <laughs> <laughs> but that's where you get your pens. Yeah. That's yeah, a joke? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's, oh, I think okay. that's what I was going for. <laughs> Jesus. So I wasn't. Sorry. Marriott? <laughs> was that a Marriott? Pen? Wait a second. You want to be in The Godfather? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Uh, uh, 
Let's try this. How are we doing on time? Okay, we're doing good on time. <laughs> God. What actor or actress has their uh, best known for start with Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind? All right, the second title. <laughs> <laughs> the Truman Show. <laughs> Andrew? James Carey. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Oh. I was going for Marlon Wayne. I was going to say Kate Winslet, <laughs> so thank God. All right. There's so... the dented beetle. Nobody? Nobody knows that movie well enough. What? Truman Show, man. Didn't you say the Truman he Show? He says there's that dented beetle? There's the dented beetle when he's proving to her that the world is on is in rotation. He sits in his car in his rear view, and he says, girl with the bags, she spills, kid on a bike. There's the dented beetle. <laughs> What Some, a, that's such an obscure poll. Yeah, Somebody I, loves the Truman for Show. For that movie, I'd go with good night, good morning, and good afternoon, and fuck off, or whatever he says. Yeah, that's good. All I right, just wanted to get so, specific, uh, you know? <laughs> you get to guess uh, two more Jim Carrey films that might be in his top four for extra points. Ooh. But if I get one wrong, I'm done. Is that no, it? No, you get, you get two guesses. Oh, Dumb and Dumber. One more guess. Wow. What would be in his fucking known for? Um, the, bup, 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 bup. Just if you name like a movie that he's in. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the right we answer. Get, get the amazing Burt Wonderstone. <laughs> Narrow it down to those. Okay. <laughs> you wanted just a fucking movie. He's in that movie. <laughs> I was yes, saying, it's can, true. I, can we steal? And, uh, no, steal a point no that's not a part of the game. Is Dumb and Dumber on there? Of the one of the four notes? It's in Living Color. All right, settle down, Al. <laughs> Ace Ventura? Coming in at number three. Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, liar, liar. Yeah. And then, uh, and then the number the four f uh, with uh, f one, Cable guy. one bonus point for Andrew, Dumb and Dumber. So it's Dumb and Dumber, and then what was the other one again? Sorry, you're too busy sorry. still yelling titles at me to listen sorry. to the uh, answers. You tell me to name Ace movies. Ventura, Pet Dick. Pet Dick. Uh, so that means uh, Andrew's out in the lead with two points, but we still have a few more rounds. Cable guy. Tiebreaker. Oh, so good. Cable guy? Yeah. So good. Yeah. It's Such an underrated Jim Carrey movie. How often was Jim like on the set of uh, Dying Every the Every single day, every hour, didn't miss a step. Wow. Well, it seems like only one of you wanted to answer that. Real canned answer <laughs> coming at you. <laughs> no, he was, a, he was around. He was around. <laughs> okay. He was never there. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a he came like twice. <laughs> yeah, he no, he was around. He contributed more story than anything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the story that you see is uh, is Jim's. He life. did all the pre work. Yeah. Well, he it's uh, yeah he had thirty years of it, and then he gave it to us. So it was very nice. If, I was going to ask you guys before the game portion. I forgot to do it. Has there? I think the depiction of comics, not to blow smoke up all your skirts, but the I've never seen it in a movie or TV show so even though it takes place in the 70s I still sort of know what that time was like uh, it's just very realistic it's hard to get that whenever a character is a stand-up comedy comedian in a movie or TV show they kind of blow it they don't really get the feel for it yeah but this show it's certainly the pilot that I saw uh, does a great job with that well thanks the things you guys say when you're being doing stand-up are funny and then when and we're, make you, you loved when make we were laugh. making fun of each other too. When we we talked about that, like yeah, all yeah. The fucking, will they let us do that with each other? So that there was the written lines, and then we got to fuck around with a little bit. So that was our favorite. Sitting in that booth and shitting on each other was my other favorite just, thing in the world. <laughs> I think I think one of the things that was great too was we we were able to go, like, hey, we wouldn't stand here. Like a lot of times they they were trying to do their the director would want to do a scene and there'd be somebody on stage and we would say comics wouldn't stand in a room and talk so they would move the scene to like the bar or so that kind of stuff we, we wanted to add as much authentic authenticity to it as possible because we know there'd be comics watching going they don't do that they would never do that well they're gonna do that anyway but i know bastards yeah but i think they'll do it less than any other thing like of course we've all made fun of punchline over the years and all the ridiculous <laughs> things like everybody having a locker and 
And, uh, you know, one of the comics There's that's there every night is in the a nun's factory. costume. The, uh, there, the, there is. That's there true. Is. They do have them. You guys don't have lockers at the comedy store? I have a locker. No. <laughs> it's got a secret locker room. It's a secret locker room. All right. So anyway, so, I, so, I so I think I proved my point that you can't name any good stand-up comedy movies. Lenny with Dustin Hoffman, I guess, is a good one. Mm. And I one, hate to is, make fun of the new one, one with De Niro, Comedian. That didn't, I never that didn't, didn't work? I didn't see it, no. no. no I didn't see well, you know, CISO is putting out like a competitive show to ours that's in the 70s but from the perspective of... I want to stop there. Our show's on YouTube, okay? <laughs> uh, what is this fucking CISO? Yeah, yeah. You have to pay for CISO. Did we have yeah. CISO? Hey, listen, don't, don't take you down really? one of our sponsors here. Oh. Yeah, Hulu? CISO's great. I didn't say anything <laughs> bad about it. I was just talking about a show. Better... But they're, yeah, they're, let's they're doing talk a, some more about it. Yeah. What is it? No, they're just trying to do a Johnny Carson thing. They're, they're doing their angle. That. But it's they're different, doing, oh, though. Carson is, is very, very different. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. That's right. good. So they didn't take like a chunk down or it's anything. It's not as right? expensive as Doug's podcast, though, right? See, so? Are you guys... Are you... <laughs> S-E-E-S-O <laughs> dot com slash Doug for 10%. I don't know. <laughs> um... <laughs> Okay, here's the next round. Starting with what actor or actress is best known for? You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> There's no rules. <laughs> I did, yeah, I didn't, uh, I forgot to mention that you can't knock other people's buzzers off the table. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't bring, bring up that rule. <laughs> the first title is The Lion King. Ooh. Uh-oh. Al's reaching. What do you think he's doing? Do it. He's going. He's buzzing. James Earl Jones. No. Damn. Sorry, Al. Now, do we keep going? Yeah, we yeah. do. Wow, that was my guess. <laughs> well, maybe this second title will narrow it down. It should for many people in this room. Mm -hmm. Nash Bridges. TV program. Nash Bridges. Cheech Marin. Listen, Al, you're out for this round. <laughs> You got negative one point. Does anybody Jesus. else have a guess? Oh, no. That's a good one. Keep just going. say what I just said, you fucking asshole. Do people know? Do you guys know? Who? Raise your hand if you know. <laughs> yeah, we, now we all know. Do you have a guess? I don't know. Eric? Nash Bridges. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You know, that was pretty funny, but negative one point. <laughs> I'm not guessing. Andrew doesn't have a guess? I don't have a guess. All right. Well, I mean, I mean they didn't either. What? They, they were wrong too, guesses. right? No, Al guessed the second time. But they were wrong. No, no he can't, you can't guess the second time. Oh. He was right, is what he's trying to say. Yeah, but say I, oh, you want to steal it? Yeah. Cheech. Cheech Marin. I said I it. I already said Cheech. <laughs> you can't. You're out, Eric. <laughs> Cheech. <laughs> Cheech Marin. Buzz your buzzer. Do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> Cheech oh, Marin. That's so perfect. Cheech Marin is correct. <laughs> Dude, you're winning, dog. I would Another I point would've. for Andrew. I would have got it. Uh, and you can get two more bonus points if you can name two more Cheech Marin projects. Up and smoke. That are in the top four. One more. Um. <laughs> I'm bad. Hmm. It's funny. I said I was going to be bad, but I'm still winning. <laughs> well, you're... <laughs> Whoa. You're definitely losing fucking this bonus part. Jesus Christ. Guess something already. You're killing me. Um, Al's a cunt. Is Al's a cunt up there? <laughs> you know what? Cheech was so good in that. <laughs> There's no way Al's not an Al's a cunt. <laughs> it's actually a biographical. I, I, I'm done. That's all I need. That's it. That's all you have? That's your two guesses? Al's a cunt and up in smoke. Oh, born, right. Born in East L.A. To let Al do it. Do it. They went with. Do you know some? Oh, I, there's plenty. I mean, yeah. We'll do. Oh no, let him do it. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> Wait, you would run through all, every. Single we'll do the ones that you think are in the top because you're fucking still smoking. Me for not I guess we're still like, smoking. Yeah. No, oh, they God. went with cars. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, so it's none uh, of the real Mexican ones, right? And, well, I don't know how Mexican this one is. Desperado? 
Yeah, there yeah, wasn't. It's super Mexican. It's more New right. Mexican. Kind of Mexican. Than Mexican. The most yeah. Mexican. Yeah. It's more Albuquerque. Yeah. It's more like My Austin, favorite Texas, is his uh, his uh, pussy speech in uh, From Dust Till Dawn. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a big oh, pussy. We got an old <laughs> pussy. We got hairy pussy. <laughs> what kind of pussy you like? We got a fucking old stanky pussy. Every kind of pussy. <laughs> Do you know it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Unless uh, miracles happen, Andrew's going to run away with this thing. So. Damn it. Okay, I got to come back. It's time to come back. <laughs> Buzz in on the first one if you can, because if you can get four points on this, then you then you catch, up, trying to do. catch up to Andrew. Mm-hmm. You can buzz in real early and lose one so you guys have a chance. <laughs> Just bastard. No, that's a friendly thing to do. I think that was a nice thing to do. Give you a shot. He's from Chicago, everybody. I'm so trying sorry. To, just trying to let you in, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Doug. Doug, what ain't... I know, it's like golf. And Doug steps up to the pot. <laughs> Doug can't read his own handwriting is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, in his show prep, he was like, I think I was really high during this part. <laughs> the movie is The Fighter. Oh! Al Madrigal! It's a misdirect because of the Jim Carrey one, so this is going to be Christian Bale. Incorrect! Fuck! <laughs> Andrew. That's <laughs> Melissa Leo. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 12 years a day. You're taking me out to eat or something. <laughs> well, I'm not supposed to win because there's nothing on the back of this one. <laughs> no, well, that's then that, nice. anyway. Um, <laughs> do you want to guess three more just to rub it in? No. I will. These guys can. I'm dying up here. No, that's not on our top. Not be Wouldn't be in there yet, but I. What's I the Netflix movie? Is it's that up there? To be, I think she'll uh, you know win awards. I for thought this they sometimes thing. do that. They put the current projects that they're working. She was in the Equalizer, which is a great movie. Most um, hated woman in the world. Is that what? up there? That's a movie. It's a new it's a Netflix. Netflix movie that she's in. Oh really? Yeah, most hated woman in America. That or the might world? be the best yeah. movie I've never seen. Yeah, most hated woman in America, starring her. What's the one? What did you know what it was? Someone said, "Must have one in America." Yeah, yeah, that's oh, her. That's okay. I didn't know she was in it. It's her. Yeah, it's her. She's really great in that one uh, episode of Louis. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah really, yeah. really good in that. Where they get into an argument about her stealing material backstage. She's also in that's the my favorite. What's that one. No, I think he has like, a bunch of sex with her. Yeah, he grabs her boob. Oh, that was Dane Cook. I thought that was her. Oh was right, the Dane Cook I that was episode, Melissa not the Melissa Leo. Same thing to me. Yeah, I could see. I that. thought you. I thought they you were mistaken. <laughs> Come see, come saw, you know? <laughs> Is that Dan Cook or Melissa Leo? <laughs> that always happens. That always, it's a, it's a fun confusion. game we play on this show sometimes. <laughs> yeah. where I'll ah! say the name of a movie, and you guys say if it's Melissa Leo or Employee Dan of the Cook. Month. Are you ready? <laughs> uh, good luck, Chuck. Melissa, Melissa Leo. Leo. No, Dan Cook. Fuck. Shit. Yeah. Prisoners. Jessica Simpson. <laughs> That's not one of the... Options is Dave Mel- Cook Melissa Leo. or correct Melissa Leo, Oblivion. Mm. Melissa Leo. Melissa also Leo. Melissa Leo. Yes. Melissa Leo. Snowden. Melissa Leo. Melissa Leo is correct. She's good at that too. Yeah. Dan in real life. Dane Cook. That's correct. Yep. Dane you guys Cook. are good at this. Yep. Employee of the month. Yeah, a lot of my guests wouldn't know the difference between Melissa Leo and Dane Cook. <laughs> That's why we're here to educate. You guys really, uh, really nailed it. And um, so that means Andrew Santino is our winner. So 12 years at Dave. Come get all your stuff, dude. Congratulations. (laughs) All right. I got to, I got to ask for those (laughs) facts. You want to say anything? Give it this one. Give it back. You don't want to say anything? Any it. words? Not an acceptance speech or anything? Oh, uh, see, yeah, I still win because he's got the workaholic Dave? shirt on, so there's a connection still. It's not your picture, though. <laughs> That's Kyle Nuichek's picture. Yeah? He's yeah. not wearing a Montez shirt. It doesn't say free Montez on it. 
It's a free car, all right. I don't like how you said the name. It's a little racial. Go in your ta- go in your top <laughs> order of favorite characters from the show. From workaholics. Yeah, and tread lightly, motherfucker. <laughs> Stomp through the woods, my friend. Uh, let's do some plugs, you guys. <laughs> uh, of course, I'm dying up here on Showtime uh, Sunday nights, starting June fourth. But uh, what else you got, uh, Eric Griffin? Where, where can people come see you? Um, you can come see me. I'm going to be in uh, Connecticut at the Mohegan Sun uh, on the second and third or first and second, one of those. And my hour special comes out on Showtime July 7th. It's called The Ugly Truth. And actually, all of us have hour specials. Um, make sure Everyone. If, if you have Showtime on demand, make sure you catch our magical special because it is fucking hilarious. Shrimp and Ain't Easy came out on May 5th. They gave us uh, all, so they put all of our specials on as uh, companion pieces to the show. So those will all be right there. So Andrew has one coming out. It's coming out right now. Mine comes out June, June 2nd, 2nd, the Friday before the show. So June 2nd, the show is on June 4th. And then Al's a month, one month later. Um, fantastic. We're getting Kramer a pen. I like it. Yeah, we're totally hooking her up. I want you to keep that pen, Kramer. <laughs> no, I need that because the hotel, that, the hotel that Hilton Inn is for you, you baby. You have to return it to the hotel. That's Hampton how those work. That's the deal. <laughs> That's what those are about. Mr. Benson, we've been waiting for you. Do you have the pen? <laughs> I yes. thought they were free. Security comes, yeah. <laughs> What's this nine dollar <laughs> charge? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it's, it's, under, it's, it's underneath the, the 1750 charge for the porno. <laughs> Who's buying hotel porn still? Nobody. Not if they got a phone. Because then you can call in for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's, he's still dialing those 976 numbers on your cell phone. <laughs> Talk dirty to me. <laughs> I still have those ads in the middle of the night with those girls, yeah. It's crazy. It's like that girl Call me. There. Let's have a hot conversation. Hi. Uh, it's, really, it's really just me doing it. Hi, this is Bethany. My pussy is so wet for your eyes. We got West Bushy. <laughs> we got Harry Bushy. I'm so sorry, that's we got my boss. Me pussy. <laughs> My manager. You should say a reason. number to press after each one. <laughs> if you want these pussy, press two. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta start that service. <laughs> I know, but every one you press yeah. is still the same girl. Yeah. Hi, I have a hairy pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a wet pussy. Welcome to Pussy Phone. <laughs> <laughs> Please make your selection of pussy you want. Press one for wet pussy. Hi. I have a wet pussy. Press two for huge pussy. Hi, 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 hi. Why, I, 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 why is she it, talking it, into her own pussy? It's so huge. So <laughs> huge. So huge. Oh, come on, huge God. it is. That was hilarious and quick. It was fast. <laughs> She's inside her own pussy. That's how big it is. That is you so do your podcast in is. that pussy. We're in it right now. She's co-starring in Oblivion. That's how big <laughs> her uh, pussy is. Right next to Dane Cook. Um, Al Madrigal, what do you got to plug? Well, the special uh, just came out. Right. Of course, I've got a huge scene in Snatched. I really am in there. And that's number there. five on Pussy Phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you uh, interact with in your scene? Just Amy. Amy Schumer. Just that's Amy. fantastic. Yeah. Come on. We're killing up here. <laughs> really good. Really good. They love it. <laughs> I've been in. Uh, we talked about this last time I was on, but I've been in. So I've been in the worst movie of all time, and that's what shows up in my time. I was in a movie with uh, Christian Slater and Cuba Gooding Jr. called "Lies and Illusions," <laughs> where they sent me the script in final draft and said, "Go for it." <laughs> I swear to God, days before my scene, I was like, "Oh, okay," and just got to write all my part. And I can just wait, but you just said it's a terrible movie. It's horrible. So you, that you didn't do a good part? job writing your part. We uh, improvised the almost the entire thing. Christian wow. Slater didn't want to deal with it. He explained to me. He goes, he goes, uh, 
Al, let me tell you what we got here. Uh, he goes, this is a cash grab situation. So uh, don't worry about it. Say whatever you want. He's big in the improv scene. You know that, right? Yeah. Dude, he, he was, was in a, a Yui Bowl movie, so he clearly doesn't. He's yeah. willing to just take the money and just do it. I think there's a certain dollar. I see all this direct to DVD, and so that was like a foreign release. They spent about three, four million bucks on the movie, and then they just released it internationally. And I think they make, you know, a ton of money, and that's it. So Cuba Gooding Jr. gets his probably like five hundred grand. Christian Slater gets five hundred grand. And everybody's happy. They work for a month. Right? That's how it's got to work. Then they send me the script and they don't give a fuck. Well, I that is, you should do the uh, commentary track on the, <laughs> on the so, Blu-ray. <laughs> that would be so fucking great. <laughs> well, we should do an interruption of it at CineFam. Oh my God, it's so great. There's a fight. <laughs> I thought you I said mean, it was terrible. No, no, it's so bad because you don't... Do you ever see Transporter 2? No. Oh, yes. Oh, you did a fight in the airplane where they used just a, like a model plane and it was... Mm-hmm. You know, like we did, They did that in this movie. But again, my brother was on a flight to Mexico and he was flying with it and he saw this Mexican guy just watching a movie on his laptop and loving it. And then he, my brother said in Spanish, he goes, do you, you like that, this movie? And he goes, awesome, very good, very good. So there you go. Like, fucking that guy yeah. fucking loved it. Validation. Right yeah, there. I wish we'd known what else he was watching was your, what he thought of it. I mean, that might have been your brother just being a supportive brother. No. <laughs> People love it on airplanes. We don't do that. <laughs> you sure fucking know. <laughs> If you're Mexican and you've got a laptop and you're on a plane, this is the movie for you. Yeah. It actually comes with Mexican laptops. <laughs> <laughs> so this Presario <clears throat> comes with... <laughs> it's a Presario. Doug Loves Movies is back at Cobbs in San Francisco on Saturday, June 10th at 420. Oh, and uh, yeah. thank you to all of my guests. Great job, guys. That's fun. Yeah. Eric Griffin, Andrew Santino, and Al Madrigal. Yay. And uh, as always, fucking assholes in the Starbucks line who ask 700 questions about the goddamn sausage and egg sandwiches are a shithead. Yeah, that's good. She's getting a valet early. <laughs> and Rory Gilmore is a shit. <laughs> now it's time for Doug to watch another talkie. Eyes of gold is viewing prowess makes him foggy. There.